Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to share files to your team members. So imagine this, you are a team leader and you have uploaded some documents in your Google Drive. So you want your team members to have immediate access to these documents on Slack. So here you have two choices. The first choice is you just create a file link, copy that link, compose a message and paste that file link in Slack. Now this traditional approach is very repetitive and tiresome. So I would suggest that you bring in some automation so that when a new file is uploaded in Google Drive, it will automatically share this file on Slack. So in this video, we will be using Public Connect to integrate Google Drive and Slack. The best part of using Public Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so we will actually begin with a small example. So this is my Google Drive and actually I have created a folder called as Tony Stark. And uh, as you can see, I already have uploaded a file. Now for your concentration, I'm going to upload a new file. Okay, so let me just uh, upload a new file here. So the name of the file is let's say Java programming. Okay, so the file is actually in my desktop. And this is the name of the file Java programming. Okay, let me just upload this. Okay, so the file is getting uploaded. Okay, excellent. So the idea is that whenever a file is uploaded in our Google Drive, it will be reflected as a message in Slack. So your team members can just uh, check out the link and open the PDF or the file. Okay, so it is uh, uploading. Okay, so as you can see, we do have a file called as the Java programming for kids. So this is the PDF, okay, Java for kids. And uh, these are the lessons, excellent. So let's have a look in the Slack. Do we have the message concerning the same? Okay, so let me just, okay, yeah, we do have the message. So let's just explore this link. Okay, so as you can see, it's the same file. Okay, Java for kids. So basically, this is the idea. Whenever a new file is uploaded in Google Drive, it will be reflected as a message in Slack. Now, to begin the actual integration process, we will be using an app called as Pabli Connect. So let me just type pabli.com. Pabli.com it is. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here, just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Public Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Public Connect. You can also build your own free account in just two minutes. So let me just uh, scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button. Create workflow. Click this. Our dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Google Drive to Slack. Google Drive to Slack. And then just click on create so when you click on create a window appears in front of you this is called as the trigger window so in the choose app how about we make it as google drive okay this is because we want to send the data from google drive that is why google drive it is okay so now in the trigger event we want to send the file when a new file is uploaded in a specific folder so i'm making the trigger event as new file in specific folder New file in specific folder is a trigger event. So your obvious question is what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new file is uploaded in Google Drive, then what action should be taken by the system? Now at present, we only have uh, two triggers. That is new file and new file in specific folder. Now in case if you want more trigger events, according to your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the ratepabli.com to custom build a trigger event for you. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new file is uploaded in a specific folder. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is basically I'm trying to integrate Google Drive to Public Connect. So let me just click on connect with Google Drive. In the new credentials, click on connect with Google Drive. Okay, so as you can see, I have a series of account. Now, uh, this uh, particular Google Drive is uh, present in this Gmail account. Okay, so this is the Gmail account with which this Google Drive is, uh, uh, is being used. Okay, so let me just click on allow. Okay, excellent. So it is showing the authorization is successful. Press OK. So as you can see, as I mentioned before, uh, we do have uh, the folder. Okay, so this is the folder called as Tony Stark. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going back to my drive and I'm just going to create a new folder. Okay, so just uh, let me show you one more thing. So when I explore the drop down, you can find all the folders that is present folders as well as files that is present in my Google Drive. So as you can see, so these are all the folders that is present here. And these are all the folders that is present here. So the reason 
reason why it is it is showing all the folders in Google Drive here is because we have successfully integrated Google Drive to Public Connect. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create a new folder. So let me just click on new. Okay, click on folder, and uh, the name of the folder is uh, new kits PDF. Okay, so just a random name, and let me just uh, click on create. Okay, so a new folder has been created, new kids PDF. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on refresh. So when I click on refresh, I can expect to find this newly created folder in the drop down. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on refresh. Okay, so yeah, we do have the folder that is new kids PDF. So I'm selecting this one. So basically the idea is that we are going to integrate and receive the data from this particular folder. So when I click on save and send test request, it will fetch the data of the recently created folder. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to upload a folder. In this particular folder, I'm going to upload a particular file. So let's say we are just uh, going to drop a file here and uh, the name of the file is C++ for kids. Okay, so we have uh, we are uploading this file called as C++ for kids and we have uploaded it. Excellent. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to public connect and I'm just going to click on save and send test request. I repeat again. So when I click on save and send test request, it will fetch the data of the recently created folder. In our case, the recently created folder in this particular uh, folder is uh, C++ for kids. So let me just click on save and send test request to show you. Okay, so as you can see, we do have some data. So this is the ID of the file okay so this is the idea of the file and where is our file name okay yeah so this is our file name c plus plus for kids dot pdf okay so we have received the data of uh, this particular uh, file okay c plus plus for kids now we basically want to share this folder via google drive so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to click on a plus button so here another window opens up this window is called as the action window now basically what we are trying to do here is we are just going to uh, share this uh, particular file okay so this is the file that we want to share so let me just go to public connect okay let me just go to public connect and let me just type once again google drive so this is a very interesting case we have a google drive in the trigger window as well as Google Drive in the action window. So here in the action event, how about we make it as uh, share a file with anyone, okay? Share a file with anyone. And uh, of course, there are many more action events like uh, move a file, move a folder, share a file, and uh, create subfolder in share drive. All of them are a bunch of action events. Now, just like the triggers, if you have trouble finding the action event according to your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate public.com to custom build an action event for you. But at present, I just want to share a file with anyone. So let me just click on connect with Google Drive. In the new credentials, let me just click on connect with Google Drive. Okay, so as you can see, we are just going to use the same account. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it's just demanding access. Now, before you click on allow, let me just tell you something. Public Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. So on the basis of that trust, let me just press allow. Okay, interesting. It's showing authorization is successful. Just press OK. So as you can see in the file ID, it is by default showing Java programming for kids. Now the issue with this is it's actually a very static ID because we will be uploading more and more folders and it should not be showing Java programming for kids for that folder. Okay, because at present we have uploaded a new folder that is C++ for kids. Now the problem is uh, this is very static. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just uh, remove this. Okay, and uh, I'm going to cancel this. So basically, this is the file ID we want. As I mentioned before, there was uh, something called as file ID. Okay. So when this drive was, when the data of this uh, particular file that is C++ for kids was generated, it also created an ID. So basically, this is the ID we want. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to map this particular detail here. Okay. So I'm just going to click on this mapping button, click on this new accordion and just I'm going to map this okay so we have mapped it so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on save and send test request okay I'm sorry okay so as you can see these are the results of uh, the API response and uh, there is something I actually want to show you so basically we will be sharing a link so we have a shareable link so this is the one we want so let's just explore this so I'm just going to copy this and I'm just going to paste it here okay 
so this is the link okay so as you can see this is the same link that we want so my slack members my slack team members will be just downloading this link so basically the idea is that we will be sharing this link on slack okay so first of all let me just click on this plus button okay so we are going to introduce uh, one more action window so in the choose hub how about we make it as slack slack it is okay now in the action event how about we make it as send channel message without image this one and let me just click on connect with slack in the new credentials connect with slack okay so public connect is demanding access so as i mentioned before we don't take any chances with your data your data is 100 percent safe and secure with us so let me just press allow okay so the authorization is successful just press ok so as you can see uh, we have a set of blanks in front of you the purpose of these blanks is very simple we are going to create a message to deliver a file via slack now well, first of all let's deal with the channel so as you can see in the drop down we have a ton of channels this is because in my slack account there are a ton of channels okay so these are all the channels that is present in my slack account now all the channels that is present here is being simply reflected here so first of all what i'm going to do here is for this particular uh, uh, video for this particular workflow i'm going to add a new channel okay so let's just create a new channel so the name of the channel is let's say um new google drive file okay so this is the newly created channel and of course i'm not going to enter any description let me just click on create okay so we have created a new channel and we have added three members to the channel so let's just press on done okay so we have created a new channel and we have added three people to it so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to going back to public connect and since public connect is integrated with slack let's have a look when i click on refresh i can expect to find this newly created channel in the drop down so this is the newly created channel <laughs> where is our newly created channel so yeah so this is the one new google drive file okay so basically i have added all the members in this particular channel and when i upload the message when i upload the file they will be getting the file on this particular channel in slack now in the message type we have to make some changes here we have to make sure that we it is in markdown okay now coming to the message so i'm just going to type some simple message first the link of the file okay and uh, here I'm just going to map in the link of the file. So here we have two accordions. I'm sorry about my battery. Okay. So here we have uh, two accordions, a Google Drive new file in specific folder and share a file with anyone. So I'm going with the last one. And this is the link that we want to share and we have mapped it. Now coming to the bot name. So my name is Michael. Okay. And I prefer to make this thing as static. But at the same time, I also want to make sure that uh, along with the bot name i should be having the name of the file so it's just uh, redundant but i'm just doing it okay c plus plus four kids okay so let me just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing the message has been sent so let's have a look so this is uh, how it would look like michael c plus plus four kids so this is my name and this is the name of the file and the link of the file and we can just explore the link so as you can see, we have the PDF of the link that is C++ for kids. Excellent. Okay, so basically this is the file. So the presence of this uh, particular file shows that in Slack shows that we have successfully integrated Google Drive and Slack with help of public net. Now before you go away, let me just uh, explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So I'm just uh, going to minimize this action window. I'm going to minimize this action window and I'm going to minimize this trigger window. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrated Google Drive to Public Connect and then you have integrated again Public Connect to Google Drive so that you can share a file with anyone. And then of course, you have integrated Slack to Public Connect so that you can share the channel message. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Google Drive and Slack. Not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Public Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate public.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.